What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with one more video for the weekend. I am much more prolific when my wife is out of town with regard to making videos. <laughs> so she went out of town to see her sister. I've got kid duty. They've given me a few minutes of peace and quiet, so I thought I would do one last video on another item that I picked up already graded in the deal or no deal group on Facebook. It was a fantastic deal. Also from the same seller that gave me my 77 back a AT, AT driver that I just posted a video on. So this is one of my beauties, a really, really beautiful item. This is a 20 back D Death Star droid. And what an awesome item. It's got the free Boba Fett offer, st uh, offer uh, sticker and Really, really nice. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just so excited to add this one. I, I've only got one other 20 back, or excuse me, it's, it's a 21 back A, R5D4. You can find that on my channel. So, but this is my first 20 back, 20 back. So it's it's a really, really nice one. It does have the blister support on the card. So it, it's got some nice support there. I love having that for some of these older card backs. You just never know when that factory glue is going to start coming undone. So it's nice to not have to worry about it. What an awesome item, though. Thank you again, Brian, for the fantastic deal on this. It's my only graded Death Star droid. So that is why you saw the animation of an Imperial Probe droid at the beginning of this, because they don't really make one for the Death Star droid. I don't know how much airtime he really got on <laughs> in, in any of the movies, but uh, this, is, this is just a, a, a neat figure, an iconic figure, very difficult to find in such nice quality. That chrome tends to wear off even inside the bubble. But uh, what a what a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. And I'll just do a kind of a slow-mo here. It's unpunched. It does have a 249 price sticker on there, but in fantastic condition, just completely iconic. I hope to, I, I do have one other Death Star droid on a Return of the Jedi card that is at Collector Archive right now. So I will have a twinsy for this guy, but it can't compare to this one. This is this is an amazing item. I love it. Still got the uh, the kit bashed Boba Fett. I mean, that, how often do we see that and think about that rocket firing Boba Fett that could have been? Uh, but anyway, that's that's just a a really really nice thing to have. And uh, here he is right here. 20 back D Death Star droid. The card, the blister, and the figure all got straight 80s from Collector Archive. Chris Whitlock over at Collector Archive Services on their channel, they just did a long video about all of the different 20 backs, A, B, C, whatever. So it, it, it mainly relates to the back of the card. The D backs had the offer for the Boba Fett blacked out. Um, the, the earlier ones obviously did not have this black sticker that went over the uh, Boba Fett offer. And there are different extensions and little stickers down here, uh, rectangular and circular stickers that either expanded the offer or you know has new expiration dates, things like that. But this is a fairly late 20 back where they decided that the rocket firing Boba Fett was not going to happen because... Some child choked on a Battlestar Galactica part very shortly before the planned release of the rocket firing Boba Fett. So the Kenner engineers changed their minds. They decided to glue the rocket into the backpack of Boba Fett. The rest is history as we know it. So these later 20 backs, they blacked out that offer. And so that's why that, that is completely blacked out like that. Hopefully at some point, maybe next year, I can pick up some other 20 backs that have different iterations of uh, of this back offer sticker without the blacked out uh, sticker and, and with the different extensions, things like that. So we can do comparisons, but that's, that's certainly a goal for next year for me is to pick up one or two more of those for different characters. So we can kind of compare the differences. I don't want to make any promises because obviously the price points on these are, are, are pretty expensive, but really nice. Let's do a quick close up of this and we'll call it a day on this video, but what an awesome, Awesome card and very excited to have it. I'm, I apologize for not. Hey, look at me. Look at me right there. You see me? Look at that beautiful face reflecting in there. I'm sorry that I haven't 
I haven't done this uh, this video sooner. I, I have had this item now for a number of months, and I've just I've been too either too lazy or too busy. I, my work has been insane, but I'm finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel now that we're entering the holiday season. But uh, uh, I, I'm just over the moon to have this one, and I and and Brian uh, gave me such a great deal on this. I paid for about fifty or sixty percent of what this would probably sell for on eBay. So uh, it was a, a fantastic deal. And very excited to have it. And like I said, I got this in the deal or no deal group on Facebook. For those of you who don't shop on Facebook, I know I've gotten my buddy Chris into it. He's been going whole hog. I don't want to tell you how much money that guy has spent in the last six months. But let me tell you, it's a lot. And, and he just discovered Facebook. But uh, for, for those of you who, who do buy graded or you know more expensive kind of high, high-end items uh, for Star Wars... That is a group that I would definitely check out. And and the way that the deal or no deal group works is, is that somebody who has something to sell, they'll post photos of the item. They'll let you know where the item is, what the shipping costs will be, either within the continental U.S. if they're based in the U.S. or overseas. I will say that most of the sellers are based in the United States. So for those of you internationally who are watching this video, just keep that in mind that your shipping costs will be more expensive. And, and some sellers don't want to risk shipping these items overseas because of fragility, such as this item, or due to COVID, you know, the, the U.S. postal system is just a mess right now between COVID and the, the upcoming election and mail-in ballots and things. So a lot of sellers are just not willing to ship overseas right now. So keep that in mind for a lot of you international sellers that, you know, there is there are some sellers, though, who do post in the UK and things like that. So it's not like it's all US sellers, but I would say 75 to 80% are US sellers. But anyway, the way deal or no deal works, somebody will post photos and say, make me an offer. And uh, that's how it works. And it's basically a free for all. Whoever comes up with an, an offer number that the seller is, is happy with, he'll eventually say deal. And at that point you deal in private messages regarding payment and shipping and addresses and all that good stuff. So it's it's a great way to pick up items for much less expensive than on eBay. And uh, not all the time. I mean, some sellers have unrealistic prices and some sellers are just testing the water, so to speak, to get a, a better idea of what their market value is for the item before they may be listed on eBay for hire. <laughs> but the, you know, I would say the vast majority of the sellers are great to work with. You just got to be careful. My only other tip, regarding eBay or excuse me, regarding Facebook purchases is if you do not know the seller to make sure to get some references and or pay using PayPal goods and services. That gives you some, that gives you a little bit more protection. Uh, but it's, it's, a you know, most of the time, if you just take your time, what I tell, what I tell new collectors who reach out to me about that kind of stuff, I recommend doing what I did, and that was taking about three to six months. I probably took closer to six months of just watching, seeing what stuff's selling for. And you also get a better feel for what sellers are on there pretty regularly and, and can be trusted. There's also another Facebook group called the Bounty Hunters Feedback Group, Bounty Hunter Feedback Group, where people who have both good and negative experiences post about a certain seller and you can you can search by the seller's name so that's that's another good resource for facebook buying but it is a little bit more risky obviously since you don't have ebay protections but for the most part i've had really really positive experiences buying on facebook i've had maybe one or two experiences where i've had to cancel transactions or go through paypal to to get my money back because the sellers were not legitimate sellers and uh, but i had buyer protection through paypal and paypal almost always always sides with the buyer but anyway i got off on a little bit of a rant there but i just thought that folks who are looking for some of these types of items and don't want to pay the stupid prices on ebay that's that's a great that's a great group to join and it's it's very hot right now because obviously star wars vintage collectibles and modern i mean they got modern they got prototypes there's all kinds of good stuff on there pr proof cards and depending on your budget, you can find some really nice deals. But anyway, I just thought that I would share this. It's it's really a, a, a beautiful item. And like I said, I do have a, I think it's a, I think it's a 65 back B 
Death Star droid. Clear bubble. It's on my Instagram, ungraded. But it's at Collector Archive, and that'll be back in the next couple of months, and we'll be able to compare it to this one when that one, uh, when that one gets back. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you have a great weekend. That's it for me. Uh, I do. Oh, by the way, I do have. I got an update from Collector Archive. I've got a large batch actually arriving tomorrow from Collector Archive. I'm not going to have time to do a video because I'm watching my Tennessee Titans play the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I'm not going to be doing a video tomorrow, but I'll probably do one Monday unboxing all that good stuff. But I'm sure I'll include a video, a, a photo on my Instagram having the big pile of loot. Uh, all laid out, but I'm excited to get some stuff back. And, and one of those items, like I mentioned previously, is a graded 40th anniversary Black Series figure. It came back with a 90 plus. He is a certain administrator in the Bespin factory or fact, Bespin mines. And I'm, I'm going to be giving that one away uh, to you guys. So I'll have a sign up for that. I'll have a separate video for that with a link to the sign up. And I'm excited about it. It's the least I can do for you guys taking the time to watch some of my videos. Thanks very much, and I'll talk to you soon.